Kottakkal, a flourishing little town in the Malappuram district of Kerala. February 2002 marked the inauguration of the centenary celebrations of the Arya Vaidya Shala. It is entirely due to the Vaidya Shala that Kottakkal is now so well known all over India and in so many places abroad. The tremendous enthusiasm with which the local people participated in every event associated with the celebrations was eloquent proof of their gratitude to the institution, their pride in its achievements. All Kotakal recalls with reverence the life story of the man whose determined will and breadth of vision made all this possible. The founder of the Aryavaidya Shala, Vaidyaratnam P.S. Warrior. P.S. Warrior believed that the same person who created the universe created Ayurveda as well. In an article written in his magazine, Dhanvantari, 1914, he described how, once he had created human beings, the divine creator grew anxious about the dangers that might befall them and created Ayurveda to provide remedies for these dangers. According to Ayurveda, every substance found in nature can be used to maintain the health of the human being. Ayurveda is believed to be the most ancient of all the medical sciences and it has been suggested that the systems of medicine that evolved in China, Tibet and Greece have their roots in Ayurveda. The Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia compiled by Charaka dates back to the 5th century BC. Shushruta the legendary father of surgery in India belongs to the same period. Anatta kalathu vaidyamar okke chitte idhi kudthal rogigalu marundan daakit uviyogi kyanu jeedirundu. Adil nanda vitesta patattoru reedilu vanam enna amavan karakaki. Karanam adhem allopathy system doctor Vargisan ne gaili padichappo. Avada engena chale anukke rogigalu poi noki kariyal utane kupil marundan gittu. Mixtures itu. Apa itu boleh ait linggil. Nama orang orang ke macam tu budir ini lagi mari puan. Nanti anda kaki kiri kan dulu, ini lalu bintang semua orang itu anggota mari puan. Apa hari ini lagi ini hari ini lagi wadah ti kondo orang itu desh itu. Tolak itu dua lalu deh am ini istana kami sabi cuci. The Arya Vaidya Shala was opened in this building in 1902. It was just a small sales counter. Where the garden would indict. A day made the court a rogi keeper and Naki Kerchapo, Rogam Marilla. Apa dem or arching would carry yammer. Then a maru wangi salda pudding in the quadrammer. Puddi arching the kipo. A li murdil murulia. A yoga till murdil murulia. A ping and a poyal. Vaidatinum, Vaidinum. In the Kerdana in the both of the road. The infinitely small seed he planted in the soil of Kotakal in 1902 has grown into a mighty, magnificent tree. The stages and the phenomenal growth of the Aryavaidya Shala over a century 
are now an integral part of the social and cultural history of Kerala. Panniambaldi Shangudni Varier was born on the 16th of March 1869 in an orthodox Varier family. All its members carried out duties in the local Shiva temple. Shangudni was an only son. He grew up in the family house situated near the temple. There were reputed Sanskrit scholars and Ayurvedic physicians in the family. Shangunni attended his first Sanskrit classes in the temple and then in the wealthy and powerful royal household of Kotaka. With for knowledge, the boy then studied the basics of Vaidyam from a local teacher, Konath Achudavarya. At the age of 17, he became a disciple of Kuttanjiri Vasudevan Mus, an accomplished Vaidyan and an excellent teacher. Dhanvantari, the god of healing, was the presiding deity in the temple in his teacher's compound. A strict and exacting guru, Vasudevan Mus had a special affection for his youngest disciple, Shangunni. Shanguni returned home after five years and began to practice Vaidyam. He was filled with the desire to process his own medicines. He went to Manjeri to consult Dr. Verghese about an eye ailment which troubled him. Dr. Verghese liked the young man who showed a keen interest in Western medicine. Varya spent the next three years with this brilliant doctor who taught him everything he knew about the system of allopathy, including simple surgical procedures. Adiam Sabichitla, Sabatan, Adi Undakan, the Varangal, the other in the Ridil, Chikilsar, Samarangalo, Prozeripik and Goralagal in Dakan. Other upon the Ayurveda in Alkarikor and Dakan. This is random, only Chikarikam and the Desur Kutitan Adiam, Yayurveda Padu, Adi with the Padasara Sabichi. He Padasara Sabikin the Adi in the Sundam Bay Lava and Badalia in the Deshit. And the Kerala Tilla, I didn't marry in Kuti Oji Pichu to arrivate the Samajim in the Ru Sangarna Dehan Daki. The Patashala was started in Calicut in 1917. In 1924, when he built a charitable hospital in Kotakal to dispense free treatment, it was shifted to Kotakal. It later became a recognized college of Ayurveda and now offers a degree in Ayurveda. When you have learned about Pitta, you have learned that Pitta is identical with fire, Pittam Vagni Vagni Jamba. Either it is identical with fire or it is generated from fire. Prajina Vijnana Tinde, Punirutharana Manada. Vijayanathin day, the Vijanate, Moody Dikino, the good Havel Kernel. Adilla the Aiki, Adena Sudai de Maka, and Adia de Haji, either Vere, Ayurveda, the Tele, Vioikina, Yella, Mighty Nagala, Chedi Vagala, Adinda Dose, either Lamp Parese, Maki Kondola, Sathano, Vaidinchia, Tayana, Parese, Maki Kondolori, Cat, Logo Presidian. Other Kadinita, Thanundari and the Masi Lude, and Divati Moon Warshatola. Kerala Tele, Ayurveda, Samuho Maita, Nirandaram, Sambarka de Lepergame, 
പ്രാചീന വിദ്യ പ്രാചീന ആയുർവേദ വിജ്ഞാനം മുഴുവൻ സമൂഹത്തിലേക്ക് തുറന്നു കൊടുക്കുകയുമായിരുന്നു Warrior wrote a detailed book on medicines called Chikitsa Sangraham which was published in 1907 reprinted many times and translated into many languages Warrior's Ashtanga Shariram a textbook of anatomy and physiology in Sanskrit was published in 1925 Warrior formed a drama troupe called the Parama Shiva Vilasam Nataka Company in 1909 Many of his workers who were talented in music joined the troupe. The first production was Sangeetha Shakuntalam, a Malayalam adaptation of Kalidasa's play. He wrote 28 plays in all, some of which were original and some adaptations. He designed elaborate props and sets and supervised the productions himself, somehow finding time to do all this in spite of the growing demands the Vaidyashala made on him. As interest in theater began to wane with the advent of cinema, Warrior converted his drama troupe in 1939 to a Kathakali troupe. The PSV Natya Sangham is one of the best Kathakali troupes in Kerala now. It trains young artists and some very fine teachers have been associated with it. Varya maintained a regular diary from 1927 to 1944 meticulously recording in it a vast variety of detail from world news to the bullion price of the day He also perfected a mail order system through which his patients could consult him and obtain medicines regularly Deeply religious himself, he had great respect for other religions. The symbols of the Hindu, Muslim and Christian faiths are drawn on the main gate to the house he built for the family. During the Mapla rebellion of 1921, he gave shelter to Muslim and Hindu families alike. Warrior's own marital life was very short. His wife died in 1907 after the birth of a stillborn child. The senior most member of the family, Shri Devi Varasyar, Pierre's warrior's niece, now 87 years old, remembers her uncle well and recalls how he used to throw sweets to the children through his window. Pierre's warrior loved children and was very indulgent to them. Raghava warrior recalls the childish pranks he and his companions used to play to tease their great uncle. Arichal, ee shambunni nare vilikkan vechatha thore. Ee nammude ee attendra shambunni nare undayillo. Kailasa Mandiram the magnificent four-storied house that warrior built for the family was completed in 1928 Based on the traditional Nalukatta design of Kerala he made many modern variations particularly in letting light and air pour into the house through the numerous windows Before the formal Guha Pravesham ceremony, writers and poets were invited to a meeting of the All Kerala Sahitya Parishad in the house. This was organized by Warrior's cousin P. V. Krishna Warrior, himself a poet and the editor of a well-known poetry magazine called the Kavana Kaumudi. It gave Warrior great pleasure to have such a vast literary gathering under his roof and to know that Christians, Muslims and Hindus had met there as members of a common community.